Daily Lounge, your home of entertainment. Yes, let's welcome the hit maker, mm -hmm, iconic, renowned Nigerian musician, a wonderful rapper, comedian. He, he's amazing. He's everywhere. And of course, we're talking about the award-winning, multi-talented Nigerian artist, Sound So Sad. Sound So Sad in the building this evening. Wow, I'm <laughs> glad to have you join us. I never didn't know it was me she was introduced. <laughs> okay. Oh, they are accolading. Oh, come on. I... I patronize the side of you. <laughs> oh, of, of course, you're doing. Um, I mean, I was searching you up on Google, and I noticed you're into acting as yes. well. I mean, production. Mm -hmm. That's massive. How do you put all of that together? I don't. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That's how. I mean, okay. it, it comes natural for me. I, I just feel like it's. Um, if you're a born entertainer, you'll be able to delve into certain other departments of entertainment Ooh, that's right you know and for mm -hmm. us we also act if, if you watch our music videos we do a lot of acting in that's it right. that's right you know and i started off being a compare you know before i started music i started being a compare mc doing comedy shows even before music so i can say i've had my own fair share of every part of the industry so kind of seamlessly comes together so whenever I need one part just like just turn to that super you don't want to come back so for me it's I just don't try that's how I do it on a lighter note you know we've um, interviewed quite a number of artists and yeah. most of them come with the exact shade of mm. born I mean it sounds like all I need to be a musician right now is to get a black phone. Yes. <laughs> What's the secret there, man? Yeah, the future is too bright. Oh, my. <laughs> so uh, that it doesn't blind If you're blind futuristic you. like me, and mm -hmm. you're looking into the future, yeah. the future is too bright. Why? Only because I'm shy. Oh, you need to oh, okay. pull it out. <laughs> Would you pull it out for anything? No, I say, like the, the one I mumbled, yeah, you won't hear that one. <laughs> Maybe because I'm shy. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, but then your seventh album, Out of the Box. Yes. What inspired the title? Um, you know, I just had a little meeting outside the studio now with a couple of gentlemen. And those are people that inspired me to do kind of music I do and to title my album Out of the Box. Because it's not just a t uh, an, album, an album title. I want you to inspire the young generation of people to start thinking outside the box. Mm. And I'm taking it a, a tad bit further and buttressing the main idea behind uh, the title by going for a secondary school tour okay. uh, sensitizing kids about thinking outside the box and daring to be different not just conforming to the box mm -hmm. the box being the school curriculum nobody's saying it should be a rebel but think outside be creative be adventurous yeah. you know and that's that's why i named my album that over hmm. 20 years uh, I mean <laughs> at the top of the chart yes, 20 years always. not many people do that yes mm -hmm. what do you consider the secret um, like I always tell people I don't have a secret if I had a secret I would have misused it I'm mm -hmm. the only human so mm -hmm. there's no secret to it and it's just God's favors and you know the people it's the people it's God using the people to buy what I sell so for me um, no musician, you know, can last forever, can be on top of his game forever. So, maybe it's just what I asked for from God <laughs> to just give me a little bit of every for, for But I was able to identify that, um, unlike others, there's a uniqueness that comes with the message of your song. Yeah, and there's a value definitely. that you yes. keep driving. Exactly. Uh, especially in a world where everybody wants to do party songs. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't. I don't think I want to blame the kids that do party songs now. Um, coming from when we started, it kind of, it kind of like snowballed to what it is right now. Okay. But when we started, it was there was more content and music. With, uh, if you look down on if you didn't have content or lyrics that much or talking about something that really mattered, you know. But now over the years, like I said, the effect of the demand and what music is used for. You know, music now 
is used to forget your sorrows. Oh, I see. Music is used to forget the hardship of the country, mm. which has uh, relentlessly refused to go. And music is now being used as a tool to, yeah, forget forget every other sens- sensible thing that impacts some atom of responsibility on a man's mind. Mm. So if you see people, what they do is, I want to go to the club to enjoy myself, get drunk and just forget about this whole week's worries, you know. So what do they have? They have music. They bump to music and that's where the music blows from now, like they say, that's the term. It blows from the club. And if you have music, like 99.9% of the songs blow from the clubs, for you to get on the playlist, you have to get that BPM running. And uh, for you to get on the DJ's playlist, when they make it popular in the clubs, definitely that's what the OAPs will play. That's right. You know, for them to make them know they are in, they are in Vogue, mm. to know what's ringing. So that's how it works, like a cycle. Mm-hmm. So it's the demand. And over the years, if the demand comes from the club, you see the kids coming out now, they want to enter the music business. And mm. the business part of it is for them to do something that's lucrative, that they can give their sponsors some you know, money back. And it's not stipends, like it's not. So, that's how it comes. How do you say that impact on the quality of music made? Because I'm thinking evergreen. I'm thinking, well, is Nigeria still going to have artists who will spend as long term as you are spending on the same? Um, you know, it's all about demand and supply. And there's some songs and styles of music that might be less fashionable as you grow older. That's right. And, you know, thank God for agelessness. And I can still be here popping my canvas and looking all <laughs> 19. But there's some, there's some people that won't be blessed with that kind of youthfulness, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm not blowing my trumpet, but imagine you doing the same kind of music you do that won't fit, you know, whatever brand you have, you have grown to become. You know, so I think that, would my, that might tell on the longevity of their careers. That's wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Now you're a music, I- you're a musical icon, um, Sheishi. Sheishi so. <laughs> can be listed among the people you've mentored over the years. How does it feel like being a veteran in the musical industry and still being relevant in today's market? How, how do you feel? See, I want to excuse that word, veteran. Okay. Mm. Because when I look at Sony celebrating 50 years on stage, you don't feel like a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just, you just want to hold out, hold that thought for a, mi- a minute. I mean, like I said, it's, it's a world of cycles. I feel like you have to feed off the energy you give the world. Mm-hmm. And if you feed off, if you give the world bad energy, that's what you feed off. Mm. That's right. And I've been opportune to meet a lot of uh, popular people, not because um, I'm the one that made them popular. Or it's, uh, it's just so happens that I, rem- I try to remain grounded okay. so that whatever vacuum uh, void that is left me, you know, how would I put it? Let me start. I remain grounded because this thing called fame and, you know, the noise from the crowd makes you feel like your head is above the clouds. If you do not come down to see what is happening, they might just wave you off. So when I see a new guy or a new person, I, I always want to pay attention to be sure that that person is really gifted and to see what, where I can help, you know, to pull them up because, of course, you don't know tomorrow. And that's what I always do. So that's how a lot of musicians, people say they pass through me, you know, it's not that. But I, I've been able to pay attention back in the days when there were nobody. That's right. You know, so I love this cool cam collector side of me because yeah. I saw you at Hades 2015 and you were, I saw the very active part of you doing comedy, running from one place to the other. Are you reserving the energy tonight? No, I'm, I, I have um, split personalities. Okay. If I may, you know. Um, I'm, in, I'm an introvert. Wow. Yeah, I started off uh, as a kid. So for me to just go from zero to 100 
It's not always that. Maybe I, nice. maybe I already performed somewhere. The day you saw me, or I done something for a couple okay. of hours, then I just start like a uh, small gym. Let's take a break here to take one of your songs. Which would yeah. you consider? I know it's hard for artists to pick one particular song yeah. the best, but which one would you consider that song that you just still feel? Yeah, maybe at this moment, which one is inspiring you? Hmm. Inspiring me. Mm -hmm. My best songs are my latest songs. Okay. So That's the business side of you now. Okay. Play Hello Bali. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's I again? love that song. Hello Bali. Oh, Elobale. I used to, I used to oh. pronounce it like Hello oh. Bali. Now I wanted to ask Elobale. what is that? That's like. Bali is yeah. the head of the house. Yeah. Bali. I saw okay. that song and the drama that comes with it. Yes, very funny. About a particular guy who didn't know that the wife has been cheating on him all the Yes. Wife. And then the ice of the cake was the last part. Exactly. Where he now told the guy, he's I don't so, I don't trust him. You know, I mean, he's the, he's the house help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the role I played. I was the house help. But well, what inspired that kind of song? Yeah. I mean, that song is as old as <laughs> Bushmeat and the others. You know, oh. I, I, yeah, mm. I, I used to play it on stage. I used to perform it on stage. And even four years ago, I think I released it five years ago, there about. Mm. And came at it, I was like, "This is a song." Even though I don't understand a word in Yoruba, <laughs> whenever I play it, I want my father yeah. translates it to me, and I wow. feel like we should make a visual to it. And mm. I'm like, "Okay, wow. oh, when the time is right, an evergreen song, if it is, would still outlive." And then you made a movie out. The date of production, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know. So I just said, look, we'll still do it, no matter how long it takes, yes, and we did it. Let's go see Hello Bali, yes. and we'll be right back. Daily Lounge, your home of entertainment. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Lounge, your home of entertainment. And of course, still with us in the house is the amazing man himself, Sound Soul Time. It doesn't feel like a veteran, but yeah. then you are, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to retain the veteranship, if there's any word like that. <laughs> All right, let's begin to talk about your project right now mm -hmm. and what we should expect from you in 2017. Oh, well, um, I don't always let the cat out of the bag because uh, the element of surprise is what we sell. That's right. <laughs> and <laughs> I haven't said that. Uh, of course, you know, I've dropped my album yeah. and I'm shooting videos to a lot of songs on it. I feel like if you do not have the album, you are really, really missing. Mm. Yeah, that's how I tell a lot of people because uh, apart from just making music, you can tell a story of my album. You can, you can listen to it and understand where my mind is at and where the society needs to be right now. Um, I'm not yapping the government. I'm not talking about all oh, this. I feel like over the years, while well, saying against the government or saying, you know, against social ills and stuff, people, yeah, they, they always love that. They want a mouthpiece. Mm. At the end of the day, everybody's the government. And what I've been able to do is find my notepad and go back to write about the people themselves, you know, individualize my concept and let it speak to people and the mind to reorientate themselves mm -hmm. towards, you know, preparing themselves towards or having a position in the government tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some of the people that signed Bushmeet are now part of the government. Wow. And they are Bushmeeting us. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're saying is my song, my album, I'm going to be really going all out to promote it this year because mm -hmm. we, we released it la late last year, very, very late. And of course, the whole busy year mm -hmm. season didn't Again. allow me too much. So yeah, I'm going to be shooting videos, pushing out uh, more songs. And of course, we have an artist, Blacker. That's right. Uh, we're pushing him as well. He's going to be releasing. I've given him eight songs. I said I've given him the target to for him to go and write eight songs yeah. and come out with eight songs this year. Wow! <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's up to your task. Mm, uh, that's a whole lot. Wonderful. <laughs> but then, is there any song that, let's say, you're passing by, you listen to a song and you just wish that 
I wish I had written that song over um, the years. Um, I, I, I would have to go back and really listen to some old songs for me to decide that. But not mm. <laughs> and, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't get, don't get fooled by his appearance. <laughs> you came in, I'm like, is that South Sultan? He looks pretty young. But then all you need to do is go to Wikipedia and find out how old he is. <laughs> and then you know that he's not actually that young. There's a million and one questions I feel like asking. Oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I don't look old in the eyes. Do I? <laughs> oh my. Wow. But then, that, that's true though. Mm. Talking about your age, when you celebrated your birthday, mm. Mm. And you turned last year, <laughs> you, you, you took to Instagram and you wrote something, and I quote um, Allah is most gracious merciful I never look up to man to do it but never look down on man four big decades on this sinful earth is a blessing as we constantly trying to try to inspire the world and make a good mark mm. now my question is do you see yourself as a very spiritual or religious person um, a spiritual spiritual in the sense that we have to be spiritual to you know to incline um, to to that realm, you can really talk to God. Right. Um, religion is a division for me. I feel like a lot of people do not prepare themselves to understand <coughs> religion and spirituality. You know, that's why I feel, and uh, you know, people do not understand. Everybody has been put on this earth, and sometimes you don't even know how you became a Christian or became a Muslim. But the most important part of it is for you to be spiritually inclined and to know, of course, good is good, bad is bad, and to treat everybody else how you want to be treated, do everything well, you know, follow your doctrine to the T. Do not use your doctrine against other people's doctrine. Or That's right. So, <coughs> left, to me, left to me, I'm Muslim, yeah, but I, I see the world as a spiritual place. That's beautiful, and um, I'm wondering how you've been able to keep up with being that religious and spiritual, given the, I mean, huge amount of fame. I mean, it's so popular amongst your fans that a colleague told me, don't call him that time. It's probably praying, and then I'm wondering, really? <laughs> I mean, who still prays at this at this level? What has been the motivating factor for you? Is it the part where? You say, oh, because of the fame. I mean, I just take it like it's vice versa. Okay. Yeah. It's because of the spirituality that I'm here. And mm -hmm. that's the more reason why every other thing yeah, is yeah, primary. Yeah. And that, mm -hmm. you know, it's every other thing is secondary. And that's primary for me. So, I have said that, you know, I just, oh, I don't want it to, I'm not Mr. Olio, but all I have to tell people is for them to always find a balance between whatever it is they do for a living and you know find the main purpose on on earth that's right yeah. beautiful all right we have to let you go we wish Yay. we could keep you here longer but then in case someone's watching and they're not really sure it's out on we're gonna have you sing <laughs> Uh, just pick a song and, yeah. and fly <laughs> it's your stage <laughs> right now <laughs> mm. okay so, you want to know if I'm an imposter? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my voice. <laughs> her mama says seafood, no day for house. You day for house. In fact, you don't day for house. Since you tell your mentor, papa just did day for house. Drink shepherd and a pair in the day for house. Meanwhile, girls plenty for Lagos City. She now is the blind by mama. That's all the TT I don't need to put you under any pressure. But the oofy to kill us put for Ali Mosho. Young lady of 32. No get any reason to shine at 32. If to say you give God all the gratitude, you go cherish every day, and that's the truth. Um, once again, you fight the pain, but then again, you let your brain invite the pain, because you they worry about the trouble where the next in line. When you get up, you go, we say you feel press free wine. That's your king, one love. Niger Danger, Danger. Danger. South Sudan, the beauty. Thank like yeah. you so much for coming. Thanks, everyone. 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 Than